Welcome to this educational video on safety critical embedded software. You will learn in this 5 minutes video how to do this simple user interface using SCADE. SCADE is used for safety critical and mission critical embedded software development. We will see how we can efficiently design this rotating knob that can be used by pilots to set a target heading using multi-touch inputs. Let's start by creating new SCADE projects from scratch for logic and graphic design. We start by designing a simple gray circle that changes its color when we enable disable the knob and a gray crown around it which appear disappear when we enable and disable the knob. We add a gesture area that captures the tab and rotate gestures. We indicate which parameters we want to use in the logical design. In the logical design, we are going to create a new state machine with two states, OFF and ON. We add the input and the output and we create the constants to indicate the color values for blue and gray. In the off state, we want our knob to be invisible and gray, and in the on state, we want our knob to be visible and blue. In the transition, the triggering condition is tap on equal true in both directions. We add an emit signal that is true only in the transition cycle. Now let's do the mapping between the graphical parameters and the logical inputs outputs and check the design. When everything is ok, let's run a simulation session to test our design. It is behaving as expected. Let's add the rotation. In the graphical design, we add a blue crown that will rotate on top of the grey crown. We add also a small white circle on the knob and an aircraft symbol in the middle. These three elements are contained in a rotation container. We will set the rotation parameters and plug the angle value. In the logical design, we create a new operator, angle sender with two inputs and two outputs. We will use an F block with two nodes where the first case is when the rotate state equal 1 which means the rotation gestures is enabled and the second case is when the rotation gesture is stopped and we stop emitting the angle value. Let's test the rotation with a simulation session. It is working as expected. Let's add the animation. We animate the main circle of the knob by scaling it when we enable the knob. In the logical design, we add the different animation parameters in the state machine and configure the different values according to the state. Let's run a simulation session and test our animations. Looking good. Let's add a numeric readout to display the angular value. We just have to update the mapping and test again with the simulation. The heading is displayed. Finally, let's put the background map and the ANSYS logos, run a simulation session and here it is. 
Thank you and don't forget to download the Free Skate Student version from the Unstop.com website.